today's video is about how I create a bowl whenever I just use what I have on hand. These are the ideas that I use. I choose a starchy base and then some greens. In this case, it's going to be cabbage. And then I add in non-starchy veggies and flavorful toppings and finish with a dressing. And it couldn't be simpler. So let's jump right in. To start out with, I'm measuring out one cup of raw cashews and I'm going to boil these for about 10 minutes because I didn't previously soak them. This is just going to allow it to uh, blend up a whole lot easier. And then I've got some potatoes that were already pre-baked and I've diced them up and put them on the mat along with some cabbage that I'm kind of like shredding finely and I'm going to roast this in the oven. To layer in some flavor for the cabbage, I'm going to add uh, some dressing and kind of rub it all in. So a little bit of garlic powder and some red wine vinegar. And I'm going to add in some balsamic. Uh, this is just a regular balsamic. This brand is really delicious. i um, been buying it for years. Uh, usually get this at Whole Foods and it's also sold on Amazon. And then mix that up really well. Add in a little bit of smoked paprika for some smokiness. And you can really put whatever kind of seasonings you want in this black pepper. Uh, I added some black pepper and then just mix it all up and pour it and mix it through really well. And you just really want to get in there and kind of make sure it gets all over all of it. And then I'm also going to add in some of the balsamic right on top just to give it a little bit more sweetness uh, because it really just roasted up really nicely and gives it a great flavor. So again, mix it up really well and just kind of get it all over. And then for the potatoes, I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of red wine vinegar. And this kind of helps it crisp up while it's baking in the oven. Uh, and then whatever seasonings you want on top of it. This is the 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. Uh, it's just a really good overall seasoning. And then after your cashews have cooked uh, for about 10 minutes, you can soak these overnight if you don't want to boil them. Um, I'm going to just put them to the side and add in a few cloves of garlic. And I'm making a cashew cream with this. And you can do so many things with a cashew cream because it's just like plain flavors. Um, and then I'm also going to boil some plain vinegar and cut this shallot up and do a quick pickle. So I've got to wait for the vinegar to boil. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to steam some veggies to go into this delicious bowl. So this is broccolini and I love this little steamer. It's glass, which is one thing I really love about it. You just put your veggies right into it and then add a little bit of water and put it in the microwave and it works perfectly. I love that it's glass and not plastic so that um, you're not heating plastic up in the microwave. That's something I try to avoid. It may not be a big deal to y'all, but it's something that I like to do. And then for some fresh flavors, I'm just going to add a little bit of green onion, uh, keep it fresh. So there's the vinegar, just add the shallots right into it. And you're going to let that sit. And also I'm going to add in a little bit of date syrup. And this is just to add in a little bit of sweetness uh, with the vin vinegar and then mix it up and then allow the uh, shallots to soak this up for a bit before it get ready to put it on the bowl. And then I'm just adding in some sweet corn to this uh, steamer before I put it in the microwave. And so now this is going all in the microwave. You can see where I've put the water in and I'm going to heat this up for about four minutes whenever I get ready to make that. I added a cup and a half of water and then just blend this up till it's nice and creamy and you can make it thicker but I wanted it to be more like a sauce or a dressing so I'm going to pour a little bit out and use this delicious garlic coconut aminos to add in some more flavor and probably just add it about a teaspoon and then sriracha to taste because this is going to be spicy and just mix it all up and then I'm going to add in a little bit of red pepper flake and some black pepper and a little bit of the smoked paprika for some smokiness and this sofrita um, seasoning from Trader Joe's is absolutely delicious so I'm going to add that in there and kind of let this meld together while I'm preparing the rest of everything. Then I'm just going to store the rest of this in the refrigerator and use it for whatever during the week. 
So after your cabbage and potatoes have roasted, this is what they come out looking like. And we are ready to put this bowl together. So I use this as the base. And then I'm just going to add all of our other goodies right on top. Uh, and I can't wait to eat this. It is going to be a super delicious. And then you can always add whatever toppings you like to it. I decided to add a little bit of carrot for some freshness and just have fun with this. Top it with whatever you want to. It brings it to the next level. And then there you have it, a delicious whole food plant-based bowl that is packed with food. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.